You hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence keeps this blog ad-free. Hey folks, I'm Mike and this is National Ballpoint Pen Day. I bet you didn't know that. I didn't know that until not too long ago. Uh, but today is National Ballpoint Day. That is June 10th and it commemorates the uh, filing of the first patent of uh, the ballpoint on June 10th, 1943 by brothers Laszlo and Yorgi Biro. So if you see a ballpoint called a Biro somewhere, that's why. Okay, so I, uh, look, y'all know I like fountain pens and I like uh, fancy inks and stuff like that. Uh, today we're talking ballpoints though and I have, uh, I have I've narrowed it down to like my favorite, my favorite few. Uh, I haven't counted, but I have a few here. Uh, so we're gonna talk about that. So if you hate ballpoint pens, this is gonna be a bad day for you uh, to watch this video. So like maybe uh, you know, look, hang around because ballpoints are cool and they have their uses. Okay, so. Let's start out with some stuff that you can find uh, easily and fairly cheaply online or in stores near you. So uh, let's start out with this one, which is uh, pretty easy to find. This is the Papermate Inkjoy, which uh, I like the Inkjoy gel a lot, and I found the Inkjoy gel because I like the Inkjoy standard so much uh, already. This is the uh, one millimeter version. It is a pretty wide uh, Inkjoy as far as a ballpoint. There are some ballpoints that are pretty wide, and this is one of them. It puts down a nice solid line uh, and uh, and I like the look it's also got a good feel this like grippy bit down here is good okay so there you go ink joy the first one secondly another one that's pretty easy to find you can find these in your targets and stuff like that this is the pilot acro ball I think the uh, the acro ball is very good because it is a very uh, it is a very nice pin to hold uh, it's also, I think, got a really good ink. They have this, like, acro ink, which is supposed to be kind of fancy. Uh, I don't remember what the packaging said. I, I've long ago lost the packaging. But I have a bunch of these in a bunch of different colors. And I have to say, I think the um, the uh, the black and the blue and the red are obviously the best. I've got some in, like, turquoise and stuff, and they're kind of okay. But the black and blue ones, very, very good. Okay, so there you go. Acro ball. Uh, what else can you find in your local stores? Um these guys. This is, of course, the Uniball Jetstream. Uh, if you listen to me or if you listen to like Brad Dowdy, the pen addict, uh, will tell you all about jet streams because I am a big fan of jet streams. I think these are great. Uh, the 1.0 size, which is th this one is, is not the best version. I think the best version is probably the 0.5 or the 0.7. Those two are pretty much tied for me, but uh, the 1.0 can be a little bit skippy at times, but this came in this like brown black ink, and so I couldn't skip it. Also, I really like this body. I think this nice rubberized body feels good. Uh, there's another version of the, uh, where is it? Uh, I just I just had it in my hand. Here it is. Uh, and actually, I prefer this one above all the others. This is a capped version of the Jetstream. Uh, and the Jetstream just, I think, is a fantastic uh, pen. This one, obviously, uh, <laughs> isn't going to write very much anymore. This is the thing that happens with ballpoints sometimes. Maybe if I just leave it tipped down, it'll eventually fall. But uh, I do love this pen, and uh, actually opening that up and seeing that makes me kind of sad because it might stop working. But I'll get some more of these because this is great. All right. Um, other things you can find in the store uh, pretty easily that are popular... This one is always a hit, especially with like the EDC oriented crowd, the people who want a bomb proof pen. Uh, this is the Zebra F701. Uh, it has this awesome knurled grip down here. It's an all metal body, except for this bit which is weird. They did make a version uh, of a um, of one of their click pens that has like a metal piece up here, but for some, whatever reason, the 701 has a plastic bit up here. I've seen videos online about how to get two of these and just like put a metal bit in there. That seems like a lot of overkill, but uh, I mean, if you want a full metal pen, that's the way to go. For me, this is a little bit on the fine side, uh, this refill, but um, still, classic bomb-proof sort of metal pen that you can find at like Eckerd's. Wait, does Eckerd's exist anymore? You can find it at like, um, you know, wherever you find pens. <laughs> and then these, uh, I have a few of these. These are Parker Jotters. This thing is venerable, man. I've had this particular Parker Jotter for, I don't even know how long, years, years and years and years. Probably, I don't know, high school, maybe? College, almost certainly. But I love this pen. The Parker Jotter is just such a good pen. This is one of the plastic versions. It's a very inexpensive pen. Uh, and just like, I don't know, a couple bucks, maybe maybe five bucks. I, I don't really know what these go for. I haven't bought a, a plastic one in a little while. 
then this is the Parker Jotter XL, which is actually pretty recent. And uh, I picked this up, I want to say from like Gold Spot or something like that. Maybe Bertram's Inkwell. I forget where I got this exactly. But these are a bit more expensive, but they're also quite a bit larger and heavier than the original Jotter. Even the metal one, I have a metal body Jotter, but this guy is heavier. It's got some heft to it. It's got a good feel. It's got an all metal barrel. Uh, and uh, I think the Jotter XL is really kind of the winner of the Jotters. But Parker Jotter, solid, solid pen. Uh, other stuff you can find in the store. You, I don't know if you're going to find that one. You might find this one, though. This is the Snyder Schleider, uh, the Snyder Slider Memo XB. And this is a big, fat, look at the, look at the tip on this thing. Look at that. It's huge. So this is an extra broad. Uh, and I like an extra broad ballpoint because... Uh, they don't skip and stuff. They always feel smooth. Sometimes ballpoints can be a little skippy. Uh, I also haven't found this one to be blobby, which is nice. Sometimes you get one that doesn't skip, but does get blobby and it, like pushes that blob of ink across the page. Nobody wants that. All right. Uh, uh, that's probably it for the like drugstore sort of pens. These next ones I picked up off of, uh, well, this one actually I got from a friend. This is the Faber-Castell Grip, uh, the Grip XB Ball. It's another one of these extra broad uh, thing. These Germans, man, they know how to make a big, broad uh, ballpoint tip. But this is a very nice, comfortable pen, at least if you like that triangular barrel fe uh, feel, and it's got these like little grippy uh, rubber, rubber balls on it, and uh, I dig it. I think this is a nice pen. The click is like pretty, almost... Like, it's there, but it's really, it's pretty soft. I had to hold that up to the microphone for you to hear it, probably. Uh, but this feels really good if you like that triangle grip. All right. Also, useful grip for fountain pens, so, you know, you might like that. Uh, and then this one I definitely got off of jet pens. This is the Mitsubishi uh, Boxy 100. Uh, and this, my, my friend Will over at Tactile Turn says, is the inspiration for his new pen, the side, the side click pen. Uh, because you click it down like this, and this one is kind of odd because it's like flat on the sides and it's got this little grippy bit. Uh, it's, it feels weird to hold, but it's never going to roll away. It's flat, right? Uh, which is nice, especially if you're, I mean, I've seen like uh, carpenter's pencils and stuff like that. This is the same kind of idea. I think it's meant for like drafters and things like that. But uh, you have this like side click. Think So you click it that way. You can't click it again. You have to side click it. Anyway, this is a really nice little pen. It's a little bit on the fine side, perhaps, for my taste. I like my ballpoints a little bit broader, but this boxy, totally worth looking up. Likewise, uh, hmm, does this one count? I'm going to say this one probably counts. This is the Zebra Serrari. I also got this one at Jet Pens. Uh, I've had this for a little while. And it says it's a 0.5, but it feels, feels much finer than a 0.5. Like, that is wee. This is... I'm going to say probably a 0.3-ish in reality. Uh, the Serrari is an emulsion ink, which isn't exactly, it's not a run-of-the-mill ballpoint. It's a little bit on the fancy side, uh, but it also uh, dries extremely quickly, and it, uh, it writes a very nice uh, skip-free skip, skip free line. It's very good stuff. Uh, and likewise, am I going to sneak this one in? I'm going to sneak it in. Uh, this is the Pentel Hybrid Technica, um, which is technically like a hybrid gel ballpoint ink situation. It's supposed to be a ballpoint. It feels like a gel. It writes a super dark black line that's a little bit on the wide side for some people. It's a uh, point, uh, point 0.6, which is an interesting size, uh, but uh, I really like the way this one feels. Like, it's got a good write to it. The body is, I mean, the body is whatever. It's, um, it's fine, but uh, the, the refill in this is super good. Um, and then, before we get into some slightly more expensive stuff, this one, which is a Paka pen, P-O-K-K-A, -K -K Paka, and uh, my friend, uh, Gentleman Joe Crace, the Gentleman Stationer, uh, sells these on his web store, uh, and I've seen them a few other places too, but this is a little pocket pen, and uh, they come in three packs usually, and I bought three of these at the Baltimore Pen Show, and I really like these. Um, like, it's this little... I mean, it's like this little tiny thing. Look how little that is. Let's compare it to something like uh, like this one, which is a totally normal. It's like this is a tiny little pocket pen, but they're uh, they're all plastic. But it's very it's very stiff plastic, and uh, it uh, one of these like little short long things. So you put the cap on the back, and you've got a perfectly cromulent pen. It's also a nice ballpoint. 
no problem skipping in a line or anything. Great to throw in your pocket, especially these days when we don't want to be using random pens. Like, bring your own pen, and you can uh, just, like, wipe this one down. Now, will it survive a trip through the washer machine and the dryer? The answer is yes. Will your clothes be inky afterwards? Hopefully no. Mine wasn't. It was. It didn't come apart. It went through the washer and the dryer. Apparently, I left it in the pants pocket. Look, it happens sometimes. Uh, but I will tell you that it actually it doesn't work anymore. Uh, I took it apart to see why, and apparently... I guess during a spin cycle or something, it must have, it must have uh, uh, just you know spun spun too hard, and um, and so like all the all the ink went this way and kind of it got some ink in the barrel. But this is all one piece, so for ink to get out of here, it has to come out of the refill and hit the back of the barrel and then come all the way back down and somehow get out through here. So uh, does this pen work anymore? This one doesn't. Whatever, they come in a three pack. I've got two more, and these are great little pocket pens. Okay, so that's the these are the the cheapo. Uh, ones you can usually get at like a drugstore or something. Even this one's not that expensive. I forget what it costs, but like five or ten bucks probably. Like not a big deal. This is the most expensive pen on the table so far right here with the uh, the Jotter XL. All right, so let's look at some other stuff. Um, uh, oh, oh, I got one more. <laughs> this is one. Look, you're not going to see me talking a whole lot about moleskin stuff on this channel because I don't like their paper. It's hit or miss. Like every page is different. You never know what you're going to get with a moleskin. But I will say that their moleskin like ballpoint pen is actually very good. I actually really like this refill. It's got this weird rectangular shape that I for some reason kind of dig. It's got this clip with a side thing so you can put it on a notebook. You just clip it on the side of a notebook. I, that's it's kind. It's a cool idea and. And this refill is pretty good. Now, I also thought that when I bought when I bought this, I could only see the front because of the packaging, and that these little lines don't go all the way around. Which, I mean, typical moleskin. Like, come on, guys. Like, what are you, what are you doing? Like, why don't these little hatches go? All the, put them all the way around the pen. All right. All right. Um, so here we go. Here are some other things that uh, I think are worth seeing. This is the Lamy All Star Ballpoint. And uh, Lamy's All-Star uh, and Safari ballpoints don't get a whole lot of love. Uh, the, the refill is pretty okay. Uh, it's not my favorite refill of all of them, but this is a very good feeling pen. Like, the click action here with this, like, squinchy, like, rubber thing is neat. The clip is, of course, good. I like these wire clips. And uh, the body feels nice. Like, this is, a, this, is a good, this is a good feeling pen. And I think it looks pretty cool. It's kind of like it's from space. All right. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Ah, here we go. This is the Karan Osh 849. It comes with a Goliath refill, which is a little bit hit or miss, if I'm honest. Uh, this is the uh, the black refill I think I have in mind. Let me see. Yeah, this is the black refill. Audrey got one with a blue, and I love the blue refill. The black one is, I mean, it's fine. But um, this is a good little pen. It's a little bit bigger than the Paca. Yeah, I've got a thing for orange. You knew that already. Uh, it's bigger than the Paca pen, but it is still a solid-sized um, uh, pocket pen. And uh, I think you can use this one with no problem. I've, even, I've got pretty big mitts, and this one fits me pretty well. So uh, check these out. They come in a zillion colors, styles, different materials. Some are like made of recycled K-cups. Like, anyway, cool stuff. Um, then this one, here's another one. This is the Lamy Pico. <laughs> How neat is this? I love this pen because it's just so, it's, it's such a cool design, really. I mean, it's like the pocket pen. I mean, it's bigger and beefier and it's made of like metal or something as opposed to this is a little disposable guy. But this, is, this pen has a refill that you can uh, replace and everything. They come in different uh, point sizes. There's like small, medium, and broad or something like that. And, uh, man, look at this. Look at this adorable little refill. How cute is this thing? Anyway, this pen is a short, long pen that gets bigger when you poke the end. It's pretty, I mean, this is a this is a perfectly good size of pen, I think, for a human person. Uh, but, but don't hold it in your hand with like, don't, I've, I've stabbed myself a little bit this sometimes. Like if you hold it right here and you put your finger on the bottom and you smash this, it will jam that into the side of your pinky finger and it won't feel great. But otherwise, once you figure out like, oh yeah, I shouldn't point the end of it at something, you're good. Uh, what else? What else? Uh, so this, um, I, I hesitated to throw this in because I got to put a multi-pin in here. I love multi-pins. But this is the uh, the uni style fit, and I hesitated a little bit to put this in because you can get gel refills for this, and I was trying to not do gels. But you can also get lots of nice ballpoint refills. In fact, one, two, uh, three of these are ballpoint refills. One of them is a is a gel. Uh, but these are Jetstream refills. That uni style fit uh, has a nice Jetstream refill, and uh, man. Such a good multi-pen. Definitely check these out. I found this at JetPens. There are a zillion different refills. 
All right. Um, other stuff. Oh, this is one that you can't really get anymore much, but uh, this is the Monteverde Artista Crystal. And the fountain pen version of this is one that I was I would, was recommending for a while. Like the, the nibs, the ones I got were all good. I heard dodgy things about some of the nibs later on and they stopped making it. But uh, the ballpoint, this is a great ballpoint. It's got a good feel. It's got the perfect weight and balance, I think. Like there's a lot of weight right here. So it's like sits on the web of your finger or the web of your hand and like, you know, Puts that weight on the page, which I dig. So check these out. They take a Parker style, really Parker style refill, and uh, really, I think Monteverde makes some very good Parker style refills. So look, very good ballpoint pen. If you find one of these, pick them up. They're not super expensive or anything. Uh, and then this one, this one's special to me because it is a vintage Schaefer, and it was given to me by my friend Jim Rouse, who uh, died a few years ago. And he had a few of these. These are just Schaefer school pens, just a clicky, just a clicky ballpoint. But it's uh, it's a demonstrator ballpoint. It's got these wild little colors in there. Uh, and I love this because every time I use it, I think of Jim. And I've got to get it on my desk, and I'm like, oh, Jim gave me that. So this is a very cool pen. I don't know if you'll find them anywhere. But if you do, check out these Schaefer School pens. And uh, think of my buddy Jim Rouse. All right. Um, what else? Ah. Last of the pure ballpoint. Well, almost last of the pure ballpoints. This is from Shown Design. This is the Shown Design Classic. I think it calls it the version one when it has the clip. Uh, but this uses a um, uh, a space pen, a Fisher space pen refill. So this will write upside down, underwater, in space, wherever. It's pressurized. It'll write on damn near everything, uh, including including hands uh, pretty well. So uh, yeah, there you go. There's that. And this is absolutely bomb proof. I know <laughs> Ian has one in his pocket uh, that he shows it, he brings out at shows and stuff and it's all scratched up and stuff. He throws it in with the keys. I do that too. And this thing is like, it's not quite pristine, but like pretty much, this is another bomb proof pocket pen. Always throw that in my pocket. Uh, all right. So let's get into some more uh, pricey stuff. This is an unusual pen from Lio Designs, L-I-O designs and I've got a Schneider slider refill in there as you can see because I really like this Schneider slider refill you can get those on uh, on Amazon and uh, this thing is like meant to be a like a like an airplane wing how dope is that airplane wing little tiny clip uh, this never fails to be noticed when I pull it out which I think is pretty cool I like having a pen that people notice but there you go airplane wing uh, then we've got um, this one which is the Studio Neat Mark I. Uh, and this originally comes as a rollerball. But I've got a ballpoint refill in here. This is a Jetstream refill. So sorry, not sorry. Listen to that click. It's got a Thor tall. All right. Um, and then this one also. This is the Baron Fig Squire. Love the Baron Fig Squire. Also comes as a rollerball. Uh, but uh, you know what? This one's, a, this one's got a ballpoint in it right now. Not sorry. Uh, also, um, let's see. Uh, Retro 51s. I've got a bunch of Retro 51s around here, but I didn't put it in this pile somehow. But you know what that one looks like. Then uh, I've got these. This is no, this is a gel pen. Sorry. Um, you, could put a, you could put a ballpoint in here. I haven't. This is the Machine Era Twist Field Pen, and this is a great pen. It's got a DLC diamond-like coating uh, in orange and black. Love it. Uh, then we've got this one, which is the TI Scribe. Uh, slide uh, uh, bolt action. TI Scribe Bolt is what this one's called. And uh, this one has a ballpoint in it now too. Uh, but this is this is awesome. Go go check these out. You can't actually get one right now because uh, the dude who makes these is cr like making a new workshop and he's having to start from scratch basically. So he doesn't have, uh, he's got a beautiful space but he doesn't have any pens at the moment. So keep your eye out these. These are good. Uh, and then uh, two, two to go. Two to go. This is the Tactile Turn Bolt probably the most fidgety pen I've I've ever had. I mean, this thing is, it's so fidgety. Like this little bolt thing, like to extend the point, it goes around like this little J-hook and then it pops back. It's got an absolutely awesome clip on it. This is made of bronze. So it's got this awesome patina from my hands. You can put all kinds of Parker style refills. He just invented the, or invented, he just made a side click that's uh, based on this idea with this boxy thing. Uh, it's got this awesome texture. Can you see that texture? Look at that. Look at that texture. Doesn't fall out of your hand. It's a great pen. A little heavy, but a great pen. And then lastly, uh, I think, is this one. Oh, hmm. I shouldn't have put this, whatever, it's the end of the video. Nobody's watching this, right? No, Nobody saw this. This is the spoke pen. Uh, the spoke pen is actually a gel pen, but it was on my desk, and darn it, I like working with this. Uh, don't tell anybody I put a, don't tell anybody I put a, put a gel pen at the end. They, they don't need to know. Oh, let me grab a retro. 
All right, real last pen. This is the Retro 51 Tornado. Uh, you twist the top to extend the point. This is, of course, got a ballpoint refill in here. It's got a jet stream refill because I love those. Uh, and I don't like the rollerball it comes with. Uh, this shouldn't be a rollerball pen. It should be a, a ballpoint all the time. This is the Amelia Earhart version. It's got the Smithsonian uh, tag at the top. Check that out. Okay, thanks for hanging out with me and looking at all my ballpoint pens. I love ballpoint pens. I am not ashamed. And you shouldn't be either. They are great for signing receipts. They're great for all manner of things. Uh, happy ballpoint day. I'll see y'all later. Peace out.